Hi, how are ya? Welcome to my couch. My name is Max Leslie, this is Couch Conversations. If you don't know what Couch Conversations is, um, welcome to my couch. I know I said that a lot, but it's uh, sounding really porny, which I now am in love with. <laughs> couch Conversations is kind of, it's a weird thing. Again, I'm not really sure what this is, but we're still working her out. Um, it, when I try to explain it to people, it turns into like me giving advice to myself. You know, which ends up being the best advice because at least I know it'll benefit one person. <laughs> but odds are it'll benefit uh, hopefully somebody else as well. This week I want to talk about something that I have been dealing with um, recently in the last couple of months, uh, and it's it's this this those days when nothing goes right, and I want to back up a little bit because that to me there's a big difference between nothing going right and everything going wrong. Okay, stick with me. So there are bad, bad days. Everything goes wrong. You get into a car accident, your computer explodes, you know what I mean? Like your cat kills your dog or whatever. Those are like bad, bad things. And they're, they're hard to deal with and people deal with, deal with stuff in different ways and there's a, there's a million problems like that. But I find that those days are sort of few and far between. You know, you have those apocalyptic days, <laughs> of course, but those aren't, as common, what's more common, at least for me, is those days when nothing goes right. And what I mean by that is you make a pl you, you wake up in the morning and you're like, ah, oh, what a fucking great day. I'm gonna accomplish these, I mean, you write down 10 things you wanna accomplish today. Bam, fantastic. Making lists, it's a great way to do stuff. Obviously number one on your list should always be make a list, so you're already crossing like, the first thing off. But then, like, for some reason, everything that you try to do that should be so easy, like little things keep going wrong with it. So for example, I want to edit a video today. Cool, uh, I open my computer and like my charger's broken. And I'm like, all right, fine. I don't have to go to the Apple store or whatever, get a new charger. Then I've realized like my sound wasn't on when I recorded the thing. So now I have to record like a section of it again. Then when I'm editing it, I realize like, uh, like my desk, you know, it just sort of like falls apart and it's not It's not a sense of like things are going wrong But like little things are tripping you up and they make it so that one thing that was supposed to be so so easy uh, Ends up like really really being really hard and I find those days to be way more Debilitating almost because I don't know. I just get so demoralized and I like I'm so I'm like this is supposed to be so fucking easy Why is like number one on my list? No number two on my list of ten things taking me all day I still have this whole list of things that I want to accomplish and this one thing I thought would be so easy is is taking three times as long and it's and it's driving me crazy and anyway and and I think that because I'm not mentally prepared for how shitty that is it hits me harder, you know, those those really bad days when everything goes wrong, the first couple of things happen, and I don't know why, but I get in this mindset of like, okay, well, today sucks, like, I'm just gonna get kicked in the dick 50 times, better get used to it. For some reason, when I'm like mentally prepared for the, the pain, or the, not the pain, but like the, you know, distress, I guess, then I'm able to process it a little bit better. But these other days when I think, oh man, I'm so psyched, I can't wait to get these things, 10 things done, like the little things just keep like hitting you and you, it's a it's a death by a thousand paper cuts, you know what I mean? And I get so like sad and demoralized and bummed because I'm like, I have so much I want to do and this one thing is taking forever. Anyway, those kind of days, that's what I mean by a day when it's not that everything goes wrong, but nothing goes right. So how do you deal with those days? <laughs> Isn't that the question of the hour? Uh, the only two things I've come up with, I'll, I'll, I'll do the, the dumb thing first, which is me, I'll do the smart thing second, which is my grandma. The dumb thing for me is, you have to move the goalposts. And what I mean by that is, if you had a list of 10 things and you can only get through two and a half of them, you have to like re-look at your stuff and be like, you know what, I didn't get through 10 things, that sucks, but I did get two and a half of them done. And you know what, that's pretty good. And even though this one thing I thought would take an hour took me seven hours, no matter what, it would have taken me that long. So whether I planned on it or I didn't, move your perception of what a successful day was. You thought it was gonna be these 10 things, now it's these two and a half things, whatever. At least it's two and a half and it wasn't zero. You didn't quit 
You know what I mean? Number two, and this is something my grandma told me, and it's it's <laughs> it's very very smart. So hold on to your hats here. When you're feeling sad, or you're feeling down, or you're like bummed out, or you're you're just like I don't know, you're like down in the doldrums or whatever. Count your blessings. And it, ugh, I remember hearing that the first time being like, oh, are you kidding me? That's the best we got. And I gotta be honest with you, the more I do it, the more it works, you know? Oh, you're sad because like you couldn't get to the gym? Well, guess what? You still are, are a member of a gym. Or like, oh, you're bummed because you couldn't like have dinner with your best friend? Well, guess what? You still have a fucking best friend. So what I, what she said was count your blessings. And the way I took it was slightly like, think about how much fucking worse it could be. <laughs> anyway, if you meet somewhere in the middle, I think you're in good shape. So if you're ever feeling sad, count your blessings. If you can't accomplish everything you want to accomplish, move your goalposts, re redefine what you think a successful day is. Smart? I don't know. Let me in the comments, let me know down below in the comments. But honestly, I think that's the best you're gonna get on a Tuesday, all right? I'll see you guys next week.